This is a tricky climb, over 60 feet. But if you risk nothing, you gain nothing. Bellcrew! Is he real? Or is he fake? Today, we will be proving to you if Bear Grylls' actions are right in this video. Take this off and then and then pee on it. was making a fire. The force used in making a fire is called heat. You know the sun rays are hot? The hotness is called heat. Heat can also be produced by friction. Friction can, can be produced by rubbing two objects together. Rub your hand together. You should get a hot feeling in your hands. Friction causes electrostatics, which is a static electricity. Electrostatics can cause a spark and or attract dust and hair. The heat when provided with air and carbon dioxide should heat up and fin finally start a small flame. You can use sticks, rocks, matches to start a fire. We are using what Bear Grylls used. Take two sticks and put one flat on the floor. Then use the other one and put an end to the middle of the other stick. Turn the stick around and round. Here it didn't work, proving Bear Grylls wrong for the experiment. The next thing Bear Grylls does was make a compass. The forces used here is magnetism. The Earth has imaginary lines around it called the magnetic field. The magnetic field has two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. Real compasses have a needle which always points to North, wherever you stand. Using North, you can find out East, West and South. Compasses were the cheap way to find direction before long-range GPS satellites and GPS came out. We used a paper click as a needle in this video. First thing, you take anything metal. We are using a needle. Then you take a magnet and find the north side of the magnet. Use the north side and rub the needle in this motion. The longer you do this, the more powerful the compass. Then you poke the needle through a cork. Put the cork into the water and the needle should be pointing toward north. This is a snap of the direction while I was facing in the way that the needle was pointing. The next thing he does was cool down using liquids. The force used here is heat. He used he uses a white cloth on his head. To prove this, we have this experiment to show you. Water was put into a black can and water was put into a white can. Thermometers were put into the water and the temperature was recorded. Then we put both cans into the sun. After about 15 minutes, we recorded the temperature again. The water in the white increased more than the black can. This proves him wrong for this action. The last thing he does was jump out of a plane. What he really wanted to show you was how the forces mass, weight, gravity and wind work. Until the parachute is ejected, the weight and mass of the persons get pulled down by gravity. If it wasn't for gravity, parachuters would have floated away. The person goes down faster if the parachute is not ejected. When the parachute ejects, the wind pushes against it and opens it up. The pushing wind slows the diver down. This video has two egg drops, first without a parachute and the second with a parachute. Bergrylls has been proven wrong for two actions. We hope you have learned something. And remember, wilderness is not a luxury, but a necessity of the human spirit. By Joshua.
Kevin. Diego. And Bradley.